All right, out with old ego, in with new ego, okay? So we're going out, dissolving the, new, the, the old ego, we're bringing in a new ego. And I say this because there's a lot of my videos where, you know, it's, it's dissolving the ego and the ego is the block, the I mean mind energy of awakening, of realizing your truth, your eternal truth. So in one uh, way, the ego is the problem. The ego is the problem. And I know that there's teachers out there that say, oh, the ego's not, you know, there's a lot of teachers out there who kind of vacillate and blah, 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 you know, and, and th that's okay. Uh, everybody's, even teachers are at, at their understanding. And even when I started evo uh, uh, posting videos, my understanding has, has deepened and grown. And uh, so the ego is the problem to, I mean, what is the problem? Why, why, why don't, why aren't people awakening? Why are people asleep? Right? Well, we call it the ego. It's the I, me, mine thoughts. It's the, I, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not swatting flies behind me. It's the. It's, it's like this bubble, this egoic bubble of fear and desire and I mean mine and every thought is referencing back to yourself, what we call an ego, okay? In fact, you could call it, some, well, you could call it whatever. You could call it Ralph or your name, you know, Noah thoughts or Noah prison. You know, it's, it's just, it's not really an entity, it's just a conditioning and a movement, right? And so we, it's sort of like, I'm kind of cupping this with a little wind. It's sort of like um, we, we have this egoic bubble that is like armor uh, that shields us from presence, from what's true. And it's sort of like you ever see Pigpen, Pigpen from the Charlie Brown Peanuts uh, um, cartoon pig pen is like the dirty boy and he 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 walks around in a cloud of dust and dirt his face is all dirty too and his clothes and he he has this cloud around him and that's sort of like the ego the ego is like this metaphorical cloud energy but it's an energy that we are like trapped in conditioning identity okay so that's the thing that keeps us in time in fear in all these negative attributes like anger and rage and violence and hatred and depression and you know, just go down the list is because this mind made ego identity is causing us to suffer. Okay. So that's so when we awaken, we sort of pierce through that veil in a way, pierce through that armor.
um, we, or it, it opens up, you know, and, you know, that suffering leads people to surrender. And when they surrender, their ego sort of collapses and, and that's kind of what happened to me. You could do it with self-inquiry too. You could do it with, I mean, other people have awakened not through surrender, but essentially the ego sort of, it's like a very cloudy day and the clouds are moving, dark clouds, and some clouds sort of thin out and uh, you could see the blue sky through like this little like hole, right? And that's sort of like what awakening is in a, in a sense that, you know, the, the ego sort of just opens up. Okay. So then you have the awakening. So the ego is, so yeah, so ego um, doing practices to such as meditation and to bring the ego down that, that ar armor to sort of thin it out thin the veils can be very helpful okay can be very helpful so so that's the so when you awaken then so all that old ego the old so out with the old ego so you're after you awaken you start this process of going through shadow work pain body work sort of, and you're learning to love, unconditional love, you're having, you, you know, you're, you're, you're changing your mind, you're changing your thoughts, so this old ego starts dissolving, right? It's trans, the transmuting energy. And then there's a new ego that emerges, right? Because there has to be. There, there can't be a kind of a zombie like, or, you know, a person who's just kind of, uh, I'm egoless. I mean, people go, can go through spiritual ego phases. And I certainly have, have gone through spiritual some stages where oh, I don't have an ego, you know, I'm egoless. Oh yeah. Well, here's something to challenge that egoless ego, right? Right. Like, like the car, like the, somebody cutting you off in traffic, just like what happened here, the horns, right? I'm egoless. Get it, get it. Learn to drive, you stupid. Right? So, Wayne Dyer has this famous phrase of ego, edging God out. ego edging God out right so the the old ego sort of you know pushes God out we have the armor okay so so then after you awaken we have the new ego and the new ego is embracing God's oneness ego new ego embracing god's oneness right so you're learning to embrace god's oneness not just the absolute not just the silence and the stillness of your eternal truth which is wonderful and yummy and everything 
but also God's oneness, which is the world of form, is part of the oneness, right? So, so you're learning how it's, so it's your, this new ego sort of emerges. And you know, a lot of your personality, stuff like that might, might, you know, still be there, of course. But, but things that, desires and things that you were invested in before, a lot of those just don't make sense anymore and they kind of just go away. So new priorities, new things, new relationships emerge. New communities you get involved in. You know, and so as the old ego dissolve it, dissolves, certain relationships are going to dissolve too. It's sort of part and parcel of the uh, spiritual path. So then you have this new ego emerging. Now, because you need an ego to, to navigate this world of form and also to uh, express yourself. I mean, God wants you to express itself through you in your unique way, right? Jesus still had an ego, right? Jesus most definitely had an ego. I mean, he was a character, right? Buddha still had an ego, okay? I mean, to get to... <laughs> I'm egoless. Eh. Well, there you go. Buddha still had an ego. He had to honk the horn when his monks were getting a little unruly, right? And say, hey, you guys need to chill out. He had an ego. He, was, he had to have confidence to give, I don't know, whatever 8,400 or 84,000 teachings or whatever he gave, right? He had, a, he had to have an ego to say, hey, I got these four noble truths that I want to share with you, and I got this eightfold path for you, right? So he, you know. You know, especially to create communities of, of these egos and make sure that things aren't getting out of hand, right? I mean, I mean, even egos in spiritual communities can, you know, be unruly, right? So, so I'm just trying to point out that these enlightened masters, they had an ego. Now they weren't so identified with the thoughts and feelings. They weren't, and they dissolved a lot, if not most, or even all of the, the shadow and pain body stuff, you know, depending on who, some people, you know. So a lot of purification happened in them to where they are sort of this beacon of light, right? But they still had an ego. So this new ego sort of emerges. A ego that embraces God's oneness. So I just want you to remember that. And you're going to, and as you continue on the spiritual path, you're going to continue to um, develop the your new ego, right? And as you heal more shadows and pain bodies, you know, that new ego is going to be refined and uh, and you're just going to be amazed and what sort of like the Michelangelo, you know, think of, his, you know, Michelangelo, God, God is a sculptor and God is sort of like sculpting a new you out of stone, right? So, okay, so I hope that is helpful and 
out with the old ego, in with the new ego after awakening and during the integration and growth process and which continues through this lifetime and future lifetimes or whatever until it doesn't, uh, that new ego is going to be, um, be you and be utilized and it's going to be great. And it's going to be wonderful because that new ego is embracing God, God's oneness, but it's also um, God's oneness is sort of emerging from you. You know, you're you're no longer the the old ego sort of controls your interactions with the world and how you see the world. Okay, the new I got a little. There's some skunk action going on around me. Yeah. Yeah. Some some good some good uh, dank herbage is 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 a, being wafted around me. And then the new ego uh, is is going to be high and elevated and euphoric. Okay. I don't know. I'm just going with the theme. So, uh, so just realize that get out of, get out. I guess what I want to say too, is get out of your head that the new, that you're going to be this egoless being, ego, yeah, ego less being, right? That you're not going to have an ego anymore. It's a new ego. Okay. All right. So love you. And hopefully this has been helpful. And until we meet again next time in the egoless and new ego embracing God's oneness, wonderful now moment.